Now in its 10th year, this is GabNet. Talk like you've never heard it before. How are you? It's Alex, and it's uh, going to be the Ramble. And we go until midnight tonight from that city right below you, New York, New York. The city's so nice, they named it twice. Uh, Chuck Farnham. Yeah. Why are you wearing those red glasses? I like these. Don't you know, um, well, I've got a pair of tortoiseshell ones where one is uh, round and one is square. Yeah. And ever since I had the old, uh, you know... Uh, surgery. Now I can wear any old glasses. So I missed out on all those years mm. since second grade where I couldn't. Mm. And now I can buy. What surgery you know, did you get? You get the. Uh, you, what I got you? Um, a cataract. Surgery. Oh, cataracts. Oh, those are that's simple. Yeah, 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 and fun. And but now I I have like, you know, fifty pair of glasses. You know what, and all. what happened? I I had my cataract surgery and I actually could see better. I could read pretty much without glasses. The the screens really? here and then now, all, i can't read the, lately the, my foot vision's gone to crap yeah mine's gone a little if i get like like i have a lot of allergies because somebody decided to grow corn across the street and uh, you know like 50 acres and so now i can't you know once that they harvest that stuff my sinuses go my eyes go everything oh boy yeah great it's just great any other medical conditions we can talk about? Because that's all we seem to talk about on this that's program. No, dude. I, yeah. I, you'll be glad to hear, went to the doctor just on Tuesday after many MRIs mm -hmm. and uh, assorted other, you know, evasive tests. Yeah. And uh, I don't have to go to the doctor for two years. Really? He, he said I was healthy as an ox and weighed about the same. So. Yeah, well, I mean, don't worry about it. Maybe lose a little weight. I know, now I don't have to, you know, my, my kidneys well, with you, still they always, they always say this, you're in great shape, but I'd lose some weight. Yeah, yeah, this guy, you know, this guy could not take a single one-liner throughout the entire urology exam. He was just like, you know, I mean, I did the, hey, can I have the glove when you're done with that as a souvenir? Why did they do an MRI on you? Uh, my kidney when I when I fell installing the deer in the front yard. The deer in the there, front yard? Wait a minute. Installing the what in the front yard? I have I have I have some I'll have to send you a photo. I have some life size deer in the front yard made out of metal. They're huge. And okay. a giant pig. And I mean that's what you do when you live with hillbillies, you put yard art in. I mean some people do snowmobiles, all kinds of stuff, but I got these now, giant Now, let me deer. ask you this. The way you're dressed today, is that official hillbilly? No, this is a, this is a, all it does is, is draw deadheads. Oh, I see. Okay. It does. Yeah, it's, it draws deadheads but really some, quickly. But aren't some hillbillies deadheads? Not so much. I, they're all listening to Insane Clown Posse and weird heavy metal. Music. Who? And then, Who? The, ins the insane clown posse. The insane clown posse. Yeah, eh, you know. And without missing the tooth, that's a good good thing to hang. I know. Out no, with. no, I fit right. That's in. real hillbilly look, right I'm there. I'm getting I'm getting more and more used to it. I, I actually smiled in the mirror yesterday. Yeah. And uh, said, "Hey, you look pretty good." So I mean, either I'm getting really senile or well. I, I know. I, I just went to the dentist today. Yeah. <clears throat> or as I call a fishing expedition on the part of, of a course. dentist. Okay. Now she, you have most she of said, your teeth. She said to me, I'm going to come in. It was for a cleaning. I'm going to come in a moment, look at your mouth. Don't worry. I'm not going to try and find anything. I said, no, you'll find enough for your next yacht. Right. You know? And yeah. she did, by the way. Of course. Well, I said I had this slightly loose tooth over here. And she says, oh, that's abscessed. She says, it's not an abscess that hurts, but it's an abscess. And what we have to do is remove the tooth and put an implant. Well, bingo, oh, $5,000 right there. There's 5G. Yeah. 5G right there. Which, I, you know, I've got the money. I can pay it. But 
I, who wants to? You'd rather buy, you I, know, Taco Bell or I, something. I, I, I bought myself this new watch. I bought this Apple Watch. This is the uh, ul, this is the Ultra. You know that? Notice yeah, how big it how big, really, how big it is. You're really fancy now. Well, no, but it's I, you know, because my eyesight's getting a little weak. You know, right? I I like it because I can read it okay now. You know, and this is meant for yeah. people who are in in climbing mountains and jumping into the oh, yeah. ocean and you know things like. Well, you're that. always you're always wandering around the park, so now you'll know where you are. Yeah. Well. Anyway. Right. So. So. Uh, but anyway, uh, I go there and I say I got this little loose tooth, and she, you know, when she says is there anything wrong. And she looks at me and says, "Oh, it's it's in fact, I'm sure it's it's in, it's an abscess tooth. We'll have to pull it." She says, "And if there's enough bone there, we'll immediately do an implant." And I went, "Wow, that's fast, you know." You need some money for the weekend. No, in the old days, you used to they did the implant. They yeah, it's like it. a year, something. Six months. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you know, I'm gonna have to go without a tooth here for at least three months, but maybe awesome. more. But maybe more. Yeah. It's the same, and it's not in the front like me. We be twins. Yeah, well, you know, if I were in the front, I would get it immediately. You know, I just like people go, "Hey, what happened to that tooth?" And then I just every single time make up a different story. Well, the only thing that bothers me about them pulling a tooth is not pulling the tooth. That doesn't hurt that much. You know, it's not. No. They're not with the novocaine. It's not painful. It's out before you know it. And especially a tooth here is smaller, so it takes less. Right, effort. jerky. But what bothers me is going around without the tooth. Okay, now I probably won't show up when I'm talking here on the air because it's right, it's right back, back here, and when I'm talking, you don't see it. But it bothers me. It bothers me that it's not there. You're a little vain on this subject. No, it isn't a question of vain. I just don't like to be without equipment. Okay, and I consider uh, that a piece of know, equipment. Dudes. Don't leave, don't leave me open like that. Really, don't leave me open like that. I mean, isn't everything stopping working after a while? Uh, is it stopping and working? It, what do you mean? Is it? Is it your your bodily functions and everything else? Pretty much, you know. Uh, yeah. Uh, here, so so now the teeth are going. Here's what happened. I did a real old person thing. Okay, I took a terrible fall while we were out for a walk. And I was holding Marjorie's hand. I sometimes hold her hand when I'm walking just because I maybe feel a little unsteady. And right. I can't, apparently holding on to her didn't help one bit. And I dropped, I got two giant sores on my knee. They're still healing. Uh, and uh, this other leg, I couldn't even walk on the next day. So I had to go to a knee doctor who gave me cortisone and cleared it up. But now it looks like it tore a meniscus, and that hurts like hell on the other side. So when you say, how am I doing? You know, I took a fall. And when you take a yeah. fall, it's strange, but it's really a lot. You yeah, know? see, I, I took the fall, same thing like you. Yeah. I'm out there, we're putting the deer in, me and Paco, or whatever you want to call the guy I got him from. And he's in his pickup, and I'm moving the deer, I go face down into what is basically a dry lake bed, but really hard because I'm a big fat guy and I'm up six feet, right? Yeah. I fall down. My leg is a mess. And See, listen to this, folks. You're, you're listening to the old people show. Go ahead. Yeah, it's <laughs> medical. Uh, or as we like to call it, and, as we like to call it, an organ recital. Exactly. Yeah. And so I fall down, and I think we told this before, but. I fell down and then my my side hurt. I pay no attention to it for six months. Not it, it like stops hurting. And then one day I, I roll over an excruciating pain, and and I I go to the uh, hospital, and they say, uh, "When did you fall?" And I go, "What are you talking about?" I didn't tell them I fell. I just have a kidney that hurts, right? Like maybe I got a kidney stone or something. And the guy goes, no, 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 you fell. And and your kidney is is got a big hematoma on top of it. Oh, and it's, boy. And it's bleeding like a, a stiff. And he goes, are you on blood thinners? And I go, yeah, Zarelto. Stop, favorite. stop, stop immediately. Yeah, 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 yeah. So stop the blood thinner. And by the way, don't move. 
And I go, what do you mean don't move? And he goes, you need to lay there for about six months and the hematoma will solve itself. What do you mean? You can't, you can't do anything else but just lie there? Literally lay there, right? So for a couple, three months, I'm laying well, around. That's, that's no problem for you. Exactly. It's, <laughs> it's hard to get up. I'm a fat fuck. So I'm doing that and, you know, getting waited on occasionally. And it really is fine. And then a year passes and the guy goes, well, we need to take some more pictures. And they take a CAT scan or something and the CAT scan comes back. Uh oh, there's something behind the hematoma. I'm like, you mean like my kidney? Yeah. And he's, no, 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 no. Go, we need to get it with contrast now. The photos need to be taken with contrast. Oh boy. Go back to the doctor, or back to the MRI guy. They, you know, the CAT scan. I can't do an MRI, by the way. I yeah, can, I, I wish can, I could. I can do a CT scan, but I can't do an MRI. I'm, you can't do that to me. So after four picture now the second pictures come back and go they use the word tumor in the description i'm a hypochondriac were these CT, ct scans huh ct or mri yeah, yeah the mri yeah. no the ct scan the second ct scan with with contrast came back and it said there's something behind the hematoma and we know it's a tumor you know it says right there it's not a tumor <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and I'm like, uh, now I haven't seen the doctor yet. I'm just getting these reports, right? Yeah, right. So, so now, on the bottom of the report, we need MRI. So now they shove the fat guy in the largest MRI machine in North America, apparently, and do the pictures, and do the pictures again with contrast. So now I've got like seven pictures of this thing. And it comes back and says, they're, they're cysts. Well, that's no, that's no big deal. Right, exactly. I have, I have, as, I have, a, I have cysts, as a hypochondriac, I, have, I think cysts become tumors. I have cysts on my over on my ovaries. On are my, your ovaries? Uh, yeah, my Medically. ovaries. No, on my uh, on my are. kidneys. I have them as well. Really? I have cystic kidneys. Yeah. Another thing we have in common. Yeah, well, they're, 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 said, they're nothing. So, I, yeah, but I didn't know that because I'm a hypochondriac. So I looked them up, and it says twenty percent of all cysts are not a problem 80 percent of them are a huge problem and uh, you know apparently i read the wrong thing what yeah, a shock. I, it's not what i heard but exactly so now i'm at the doctor who is not mr funny and he's like you know you're okay the the it's you still have the hematoma and it's slowly healing i go yeah a year now and uh, and, and I'm back on those, and he goes, the Zarelto, it's just going to take forever. And I said, but that's not a problem for you. And he goes, no, because you have no pain, no no symptom. Right. And I'm like, okay, fine. What about those cysts? And he goes, they're nothing. They, I go, well, will more grow? Or, I mean, am I going to have a field of cysts in my kidney? He goes, probably not. Right. And, he, and he goes, it's just what it is. Can I stick my finger in your butt? And, you know, and then I left. Well, the cysts in your kidney is supposedly not a problem. At least that's what I've been told. No, no, you know, no, you're right. That that they're cysts, okay? And he uh, says, you know, come back in a few years. We'll see how you are. Well, so I'm like, yeah. wow, I never had a doctor say, come back in a few years. Wow. I can actually do that. Well, he got enough money out of you this time between all yeah. the tests. Well, no, he was. I think he was very happy that um, he saw my uh, so, uh, uh, Medicare card. Oh, okay. No. So he could take that money. Yeah, well, here, here's the thing with me. Here, here's my problem. I don't like going to the doctor because it costs me more money than it costs most people because I take a lift down there, and today the lift cost me 35 bucks going down yeah. there. Going down there, not going back. And so you I, have to I, add I, that to your dental bill. You can't put that on the insurance, but it, it's, it should be part I, of I, I took... Um, a uh, an Uber uh, in the city, and I couldn't fit in the back of it. I had to lay sideways. Well, you haven't gotten that huge, have uh, you? No, no. There's just no room in the back of that stupid Tesla that I had climbed in. Back seats in a Tesla? Crap. Really? I mean, I don't weigh 800 pounds. I weigh 325. Okay. 
or 215 if you're Donald Trump. It's 100 pounds more than me. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe I think I maybe weigh a little more. Mm. You could live a couple of months on me, uh, you know, up on Donner. If we, yeah, if we were the Donner party, yeah, you'd, you'd be, crying. you'd be, uh, you'd be, you'd be actually, uh, you'd feed the whole party for a week. Exactly. Yeah. Perfectly. Fine. The doc thought I was fine. Like I said, the guy had no humor whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I, you're, you're. I'm saying things like, "Is that your wedding ring?" I'm getting nothing. Here's what I. Here's what happened. What, my bane in life has been the fact that every time I go to a urologist, they take a blood test. Right. And when they take a blood test, they find blood in my urine, traces of blood in my urine. Right. And Which they, is very common. And they yeah, but they go apoplectic. Oh yeah. Oh, this one doctor had me do a, a cystoscopy to make sure it wasn't bladder cancer. I mean, this guy was a guy who always padded the bill. I finally found myself a great urologist. I, I love the really? urologist. I did I too. Had. Mine moved away. He's over by you now. And mine saved my life. I mean, you know, I had this prostate cancer, and he, he detected it, and he got me to the right doctor. He got me to Rudy Giuliani's uh, nice. doctor, the one who did the seeds on him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, he did the seeds on me. So, you know, Julie and I are seed partners. You have the same, you have the same garden. Yeah. I'm nice. Yeah. Now, did you do the, the the thing where they shoot the giant needles in you? What do you mean shoot the giant needles in you? Where you have a, a biopsy? Where they stick what looks like a giant cucumber in your ass, and then this thing fires uh, 15 needles up inside your Well, well wait, what he did was was the seeds, which... Well, yeah, this was the... This was a test. This was before. No, I never had anything like that. No. Oh yeah, that all was I had, great. all I had was uh, what did he do? He did the uh, uh, what test did he do on me? Where it, everybody told me how much it was going to hurt, and it didn't hurt at all. Um, you know, biopsy. Oh yeah, yes, biopsy. okay, that's what you're talking you about. Know, you're talking about a biopsy. biopsy. Yeah. Oh okay. No, it didn't hurt at all. It, it just was in weird. Fact, though, all it, it sounded like to me was a staple gun. Yeah, yeah, like like a pellet gun going yeah, off. But or it didn't something. hurt, did it? No, no. Some people no, say, how, "Oh how my God, I had a biopsy, a prostate biopsy. No, oh, it's painful, and it's." Uh, you know. how, well, how high were you when they did they give you? That meds wasn't high for, at all. Oh, dude, they gave me like crazy stuff. No, they didn't give me anything. I'm like, just shoot it again, yeah, shoot no, it again. And, it and he fine. goes, "How you doing?" I go, "Shoot it again." I, I expected when it was over with. I said, "It's over." He said, "Yeah." I said, "I expected pain. I expected." A discomfort. I expected it to take an hour. Nothing. No, it was fast. Nothing. But it, it was that in which they found the, the prostate cancer. It was a very, very slow right. growing, you know, not a major one, but enough that you got to take care of it. So I had the, uh, I had the uh, what do you call it, the uh, uh, radiation. And then uh, on another occasion, he put the seeds in me. And, and nice. now, of course, the prostate doesn't respond to anything, including Kim Kardashian. You know, right? So, exactly. So, whatever. You know. They well, figured, yeah, like that figured, was me. You know, they did I, the. They did that thing, mm -hmm. like they did to you, and then, he goes, "Well, you know, this doesn't work every time." And I'm like, "Why? Why are you telling me this now after you've already built this? You know, why? Why don't?" He goes, "Well, you know, the real way to do it is to do a DNA test on the samples that we took out of you." And I'm like, "Okay." Well, it took him a year to do that, and he goes, dude, you will never have a problem. You so do not have the DNA that will cause that to happen. Yeah. So that's, well, you know, I mean, that's what I, I had was very minor, really. Yeah. You know, uh, and at my uh, age, it, it, at my age, it's even more minor. When you get it at my age, they go, well, this isn't going to be serious. No. In, in fact, no, when you, in fact when I you say to every man out there who's listening to me, if you live long enough, yeah. you will get prostate cancer. Yeah. 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 It's a given. In your lifetime, it's going to happen. Now, when you go to the, the, the urologist, do you notice something weird in the waiting room? Old people? No, yeah, there's definitely old people. They're all staring at the ground. Nobody will make eye contact in there. Really? I didn't they're notice that. I, did, I just at, noticed the age. Yeah, no, I everybody's noticed. old, but they're all looking at the ground. You know, and I went up to the, I went to the reception cycle. So I, I hate coming here, but look out there, those people. She goes, What the patients? I go, 
Look at where what, they're what looking. What was the ratio of men to women? Oh, uh, there's only like maybe well the other day there was like no women, but usually yeah, yeah. one maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they seem to be fine. Mm -hmm. Their plumbing is much better than ours, apparently. Yeah, I, well, I finally found a really good urologist, really nice guy, and he was a, he's a good urologist. I mean, he saved my life. That's how good he is. Yeah. And I really like him. I didn't think I'd ever say that about a urologist because, uh, uh, in fact, I think he said to me, when I said I've had bad luck with urologists, he said, well, it's a weird profession. And everybody thinks it says urologists are the weirdest of all the. Uh, of well, all, yeah, yeah. So, I uh, I fully believe that. My mind, like I said, he moved to New York, so I don't have my guy anymore. I have this new guy who's, you know, the straight guy from hell. So it's like, oh, dude, nothing is funny to you. You hate this. It's just part of the job. You know, blah blah blah. Come on. Yeah. But you're sticking your hand in people's asses every well, day. Well, folks, I hope you've enjoyed this because uh, this is another one of our discussions of... On uh, health care for old folks. Uh, uh, old and folks and how it goes. Wow. You know, yeah, you know, it's really stop it. Well, you know, maybe we, maybe next time I can just get out the old CAT scans and we can, you know... We can compare them. Yeah, yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah, I can't do an MRI. If they ever have to do an MRI on me, they they literally have to... They'd have to kill me first. Like, what, you can't get your whole body in there? No, I can't. I'm, I have just it's absolutely a horrible Gary in there. claustrophobia. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm... And, and, like, and, they get me really, and, really... And they do here in New York. I don't know if they have it in, uh, you know, Podunk, where you are, but they do have open MRIs where you just kind of oh, really? sit in well, it. Yeah, but you, can, hmm? you sit in it and it does it, right? Yeah. They say it's yes, not as ac it's not as accurate, but they will they will do it if you request. Yeah, I can't fit in the chair. You can't the fit chairs in for the like Billy. No, he's like Billy Barty fits in that chair, dude. It you, you're probably at the maximum that'll fit in the chair to do that. I weigh about two twenty five, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, they like they just looked at me and laughed. I'm like, I go, well, why don't we try it? And they go, yeah, I won't. Right. Let me get my camera. Well, those those, no. those MRIs are built for fat people. No, they're not. Only the they have they have multiple MRIs. There's one MRI in Northern Nevada. Yeah. Will will fit me. I mean, because you, once you get in there, you got to have making some room. everybody everybody think that you're like eight hundred pounds. Eight hundred pounds, and you're not. You're three twenty five. No, that's I'm that's fat, not, but you know, it's not. I, I am definitely large, but I'm not that large. I'm not, you know. Have you ever tried I'm to have you ever tried, like a walrus? Have you ever tried going on a diet? I guess you haven't. Knowing you, you wouldn't do it. I I don't. There's certain. I don't eat beef. I don't eat beef. Mm -hmm. I I have. I had a salad the other day. You know, I it, yeah, I walked every day. I walked three miles. I never lost a pound. Really. I took. My, bike out and walked and walked and walked and ran, ran, ran with that thing. Nothing. I don't know if I can walk three miles now. Now I can't. I can't walk three miles. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just oh, my well. knee, my back. Folks, this is a show today about just getting older and it ain't for sissies. You know? Yeah, we could do this again because there are many other illnesses we well, can no, find. Well, I, I no, th I tell my audience, you know, think of me as the Sacagawea of aging. You know, leading the Lewis and Clark party into aging and looking out ahead yeah. and saying, we're going that way. Was that, yeah. by the way, was that racist? I'm not sure. We going that way. You didn't call yourself Sacagawea, did you? Yeah, because yeah. I, I, mean, I don't want to diss the American Indian because I think that uh, uh, Native Americans, uh, ba basically because I respect them highly, highly. I'm I, I think they got the biggest Ross deal of anybody in this country, and I'm including black people. And because who doesn't like Indian doctors? Black doctor? people got kidnapped and brought here. That was their thing. Right. The Indians, the Amer Native Americans, were already here, right. and we stole it all from them. Yeah, well, they call they call themselves human beings, not Indians. That was you know. Yeah. You know who stopped in for... They own the land. They own the land. 
I know. Yeah. That's what I that's what I say when people start taking things away. I go, You aren't the first people here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're not exactly. you were not, you know, I think you they showed got the up deal of you're, uh, you're an immigrant. You know, we're all immigrants. Anyway, that's Chuck Farnham, ladies and gentlemen. We've run out of time here, but hopefully we'll see you very, very soon. I hope so too. Ladies Thanks, and gentlemen. Thanks, buddy. Mr. Farnham. Now in its 10th year, this is GabNet. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, yes, all righty, all righty, all righty. Thank you so much, uh, Chuck. Uh, uh, that was an old Chuck Farnham. I thought I was putting on a newer one, but that's an old one. But fine, I don't care. You know, and I'm sure you don't care either because you probably weren't listening. Anyway, um, I uh, have one person waiting to come on here. Let me bring him in. What the hell? Why not do it? Okay. Because it is, of course, uh, Charlie Wallace, who is, uh, is okay. You know, he's an okay guy. He's now connecting to audio, which he has to wait, usually, for that to happen. Um, Something very interesting happened tonight. Um, oh, well, here, we'll bring in uh, uh, Jeffrey Stein as well. Uh, so we have somebody else. Uh, hello, Jeffrey. Uh, hello to uh, Charlie. How you doing? Pretty good. Okay. So anyway, I got to tell you what happened tonight. Um, uh, and it kind of screwed up the opening of the show a little bit. Um, but I, I, this guy... You know, the guy who always shows up calling me that's half, half naked or is naked from the... Uh, anyway, he calls me while I'm doing, starting the show. Hmm. So what I decided to do with him was to just let him come through because you aren't going to see him. It isn't on the air yet. And he... Uh, I... Uh, I, I he, immediately let him on and I and I'm giving him the finger meanwhile it's not going out over the uh, over the uh, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. internet uh, so he then I guess in order to make me have a problem sets up the whiteboard you know how there's a whiteboard feature on uh, on, on uh, zoom you probably don't know about it right so he does the whiteboard sets up the whiteboard so now I got to completely turn off uh, zoom and restart it up again okay meanwhile I get a piece of email from zoom saying here's a whiteboard that's trying to get onto your uh, uh, onto your um, zoom and here is the email address oh wow <laughs> So now I have an email address on this guy. So I wrote him a little note saying, thank you so much for giving me your email address. I'm turning this over to Zoom now and over <laughs> to Zoom security and they can take care of it from here, right? So um, uh, if, you're, if you're listening to me, uh, you're in a lot of trouble if only because you screwed up. You got a little too randy with your, and it isn't, it's gotta be his <laughs> number his 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 uh, address because apparently it's like from England or somewhere like that uh, because I got uh, the time it was sent was three o'clock four o'clock in the morning yeah. so time yeah huh? <laughs> so that was my little uh, thing that was happening here meanwhile nobody else is calling. What's happening on Thursday nights that nobody can show I don't up? know why I should do a show on Thursday nights. Wow. Last well, night we had a good bunch of people here. Fridays we usually, except for once, have a nice bunch of people here. But then when it comes to uh, uh, Thursday nights, it's kind of like we don't even exist. So I don't wow. understand what the problem is. You know. But we'll, uh, we'll stick around with this. Uh, not that I don't appreciate you calling me. We'll stick around with this for a little while. And... If nothing okay. else happens, we'll, you know. So uh, you must be happy today, Charlie, because it looks like uh, Biden has surged into the lead. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> and, 
And the first people first to, in, and the, the first whole, people to report that was Fox News. Yep. And uh, uh, it looks like, uh, you know, I think what's happening is we, we just too early on, we try and judge how it's going, you yeah. know, and it's it's um, it's not, uh, you know, it, it, you just you can't tell that this early and things will change. And yep. I think people, they, they're saying, oh, hey, hey, Brian. Oh, look who's there. It's Brian Hi. and his, is that your girl? Zoe. Is that your girlfriend? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> um, we count as two people for calling me in the show tonight, okay? You do count as two people. What is she eating? Is she eating french fries? Is that what she's eating? Uh, yeah, we got In-N-Out Burger. Oh, okay. Oh, All right. You like In and Out yeah, Burger, got... Adrian? You like In and Out Burger? Yeah. Okay, because I I tried yeah. it a, a years ago. I tried In and Out Burger because everybody said In and Out Burger was terrific, and so I um, did In and Out Burger, and it was okay. It was fine. But do you notice on the soda on the cup on the bottom of the cup, there is a reference to a biblical uh, <laughs> no, we, place? No, we, we don't notice that. <laughs> No sodas, no sodas, please. Oh, no sodas. Well, if you got a soda and, and the rim on the bottom, do you know this, Charlie, about in and out Burger? No, I didn't. They have I've like, it's like, I don't know, 714 or something, you know, a song. John Vincent. Yeah, John uh, something. Yeah, right. <laughs> so Remember, they used to do that at all the baseball games. The guy would have John 316 at the games. So as a Jew, I'm not allowed to go to in and out Burger. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I get the the protein style, so it has lettuce as the bun, so I feel not as guilty. By the way, and I think Adrian will agree with me, there's another, nothing better than French fries. <laughs> what a great invention. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, anyway. Yes, so I got something about physicists. What? That I know you guys are interested in. It's, about it's physics? Yeah, and astronomy. You don't mean laxatives, do you? <laughs> no. Oh. No, he means astronomy. <laughs> oh, astronomy. Yeah. Okay. We saw this really cool play about this astro women, a woman astronomer in the early 1900s, oh, Henrietta yeah. Levitt. I don't know if anybody knows her. Never do you know her? I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See? What, you've, yeah. Heard of, you've heard of her, Charlie? Oh yes, she was brilliant. And and was she rare in her day of being a? Uh... Actually, not. There have been many female astronomers. They just don't get any yeah. any any play or any news. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, I mean, yeah. They had that on the what was that show Neil Tyson did? He had a lot, a lot of stuff about women. Yeah, astronomers. Cosmos. Yeah. Yeah, Cosmos, mm -hmm. right. Right, and she worked at Harvard, and you know, like she couldn't even go and use the telescope. Like they, they did a lot of calculations by hand, so she was more of a mathematician. Well, they, they didn't she wanted to be an astronomer. They didn't want to get eyeliner on the eyepiece. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was it. <laughs> no, they weren't smart enough. Just to ask the guy. Well, well, you know, I mean, at, at, at the store, you know, they made a movie about the women at NASA, who pretty yeah. much right. That was good too. Yeah. Similar yeah. idea. Yeah. And they were. But she came up. Yeah, you you probably know Charlie. She came up with some rule about or like a formula about how to calculate how far away everything is in light years. Yeah. And like uh, all the guys glommed on and was like, Oh yeah, yeah, this is a good idea. <laughs> yeah. That, that's how our that's how our company that's what our company's name is. I mean, Charlie knows this, but Cepheid, Cepheid, they say that's how they can tell the blinking the the blinking light of the stars that's how they can tell the distance they measure exactly the distance. there's some that, calculation that, that's, about that yeah, yeah that's, so that's, that's our what, our company's name yeah that's what Sorry, I'm what, what, <laughs> what did she say <laughs> what did, she yeah, said so she just wanted to talk about what, it because he thought you guys would find it interesting it, it was a great play it was a great play what, oh, what, wow. what did what, 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 what did adrian just it. wait a minute what, what did adrian just say she says, finish sorry, Daddy, I finished the fries. Get no. on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm taking it off, guys. Good to see you. Thanks, oh, good Pam. to see Bye, you, Pam. Bye. Yes, Pam is uh, is actually tech support for for Jeff. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's a sad thing. That. That's a very yeah. sad so, so, so But I, I always make her pay me. 
no. just to, to talk to you guys. Oh, okay, good. good. <laughs> uh, 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 so, uh, well, listen, um, uh, Brian, oh, I guess he got into a place. Oh, there he is. Now he's not. Yeah. Oh, now you're home? Are you home? Is he home? He, he's muted. He's, uh, is he uh -huh. muted? Maybe he's muted. Maybe he's not muted. It looks like uh, he's home, I, probably. Oh, he's doing something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he may have gotten out of range of the Wi-Fi from his car. Oh, no, the Wi-Fi is fine now. He's, uh, where are you, uh, uh, actually, Brian? I'm, I'm home. I'm home. We just got home. You're home. I just picked up from... Well, let's, yeah. see, let's see the front of your house. We've never seen the front of your house before. Well, we have on Facebook, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, but we, we, we haven't here on the program, and I'm sure there are people out there watching the show who'd like to see the front of his house so they know where they can uh, steal <laughs> a, uh, a really nice car. Yes. <laughs> Several nice cars. <laughs> yes. Wow, nice. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. This, this is the best part about the house is that this is the view. Yeah, like a Santa Cruz... Right. And then the sun sets every night right there. So when there are clouds, like oh, stor not stormy, but you know, cloudy yeah. days, all lights up red and pink. It's really nice. Wow, that's cool. That is yeah. cool. Wow. So anyway, did you listen to last night's show at all, uh, Brian? No, but I was going to say something, but I didn't want to interrupt. But um, yeah, I'm sorry to hear about Chrissy Frazier. I, I she was she was a hottie. She was really nice and. Uh, yeah, I used to go to the studio and see her, and she was gorgeous. Yeah, so, she was. She was absolutely yeah. gorgeous. And very nice person. Like like Tom was saying last night, uh, very nice to him. And, yeah, she, she was always very accommodating and very nice to the studio audience all the time. So sorry to hear that. Yeah, it, 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 it you know, uh -oh. it's just another person I know who died. You know, mm -hmm. it just, yeah. uh, it just uh, it's starting to get depressing. You know, oh, uh, we just lost him again. Oh. He'll be he'll be back. Yes. Uh, uh, oh, I, yes. I'm supposed to give a report on my Hewlett Packard event. Oh. Ooh. Okay. So I talked. Uh, well, to wait a guy. minute. Let's let's let people see. Hey, nobody listened last night, and that's most of America. Okay. Uh, uh, last night he was talking about his problems with his HP printer, which I had the same problem. I just stopped using mine because of this and bought a. Uh, I bought a, uh, what do you call, what's it called? Uh, an Epson. Uh, Eco. It, with, it, the Eco Ink cart, but, you know, tanks and so on. Because uh, with HP, if you sign up for their HP Plus, you're stuck using their goddamn cartridges. You know, what is that? And they don't warn you. They don't warn you ahead of time either. So, okay, you, did you hear from them today? Oh, I talked, I talked to a, a corporate guy when the guy that called me was an idiot and i said to the guy i said you know I'll well uh, you first what. of all how was he an idiot not that most of these uh, people well, aren't one yeah <laughs> one i couldn't understand what he was saying two he was trying to explain to me how hewlett packard was going to continue to screw me and they said that you can take the, you can stop the, the service the cartridges you got will will be brick they will no longer work and you can go out and buy new cartridges i said well I, I've been paying for these cartridges that you just sent me for 18 months. Well, not really. Yeah, really. And so he said, let me get, let me get you to a supervisor. I said, I thought you were. He said, I am, but a, a bigger supervisor. So he gets me to a bigger supervisor. And so I said, you know, I get on podcasts and I tell people about the great service I'm getting from you. Back. He says, thank you. I said, I, I, I'm being sarcastic. I don't get, this is not great service. And I tell people about this. And so you know, do you really want to lose more customers? And I, and the guy says, I'll tell you what, I'll send you new cartridges that are not part of the plan one time, and you can cancel the plan, and then you can put these cartridges in, and, and they'll work after the plan. Boy, I got to tell you, you got to you gotta grab them by the and twist really hard. Well, wait a minute, you haven't done this yet, so you don't know that it's going to work. Well, he sent me an he sent me an email. That's right. Well, it, it does say if you go to Hewlett Packard and if you go on the net, it says that once you cancel, 
the cartridges that are in there that are part of this plus plan no longer work. Right, that I can understand, okay. Right. But, but, but you can use, you have to use new HP cartridges. But you can't use other that's cartridges. Right. That's well, right. Well, but that's they, the problem. That's the problem because HP is charging you premium for those cartridges. Uh, it's okay because I now I'll cancel it. I've got it all in writing in, a, in an email. Um, they're gonna. I'll, I'll cancel it when I get the cartridges in a couple of days, and then I'll pop the cartridges that are in there out, put the new ones in, and I won't be on the plan anymore. Okay, you won't be on the plan anymore, but you still can't use have anything to always else. Always buy HP cartridges. Yes. Well, that's bullshit. Yes, I agree. But at least they're at least they're saving me a hundred dollars having to buy a set of cartridges. Well, yeah, yeah. but that's fine. But after well, you're through fine. with those ones they send you. You're gonna to have to buy another set of cartridges for like 130 bucks or something like that. Yep. And then you have to buy yep. another set of HPs yep. where you can go to some, you know, th uh, third party and you can buy those same for like 45 dollars. All That's three right. of them. That's right. You know, there are there are if you look on the web, there are ways to get the firmware that stops you from using the third party off. But you got to go through a b bunch of stuff. And if I ever get to that point. Um, then I'll get rid of it. I'll just get rid of the printer. Really? It'll, be, it'll become a fishing weight. Oh, okay. So right. I'll bring it over to your house and we can push it out the eighth floor. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, the thing is that uh, I, I can bring myself to throw the thing out the, out the, out the, out of the place. I, I think I'll hold on to it till somebody wants it, and they can go ahead, and they can, uh, you know, you can't use those ones that come with the you know they recharge themselves or whatever that does because right. i do it did go out and buy a whole bunch of new cartridges for this and it or they work but i also went out i bought a third party and put those in no way yeah they tell you right in their documentation after the fact of course that mm -hmm. once you once you use this hp plus thing they changed the firmware on the printer forever. That shouldn't be that shouldn't be told to you after you buy the machine. That's right. That should be yeah. told to you before you buy the machine. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Okay. Yeah. Um, a Amy's not having a show tonight. I don't know if yeah. you know. Why? Yeah, I got it. She's Why? feeling I under the weather. Yeah. Hmm. She just sent, she just sent us a text. Funny, I I didn't get anything to that extent. Oh, she asked us to let you know. Oh, so to let me go. know. Oh, yeah, okay. Like it's your job. Hmm. It, it's you no know. problem for us to tell you. Yeah, we don't mind. Yeah, it's okay. Hmm. Um, so it's better than. I won't say anything. I was going to say it's better than having the last person that used that, that was running the show call you in the middle of your show and start asking for tech support. So. Well, she uh, once uh, a couple of weeks ago, she called me in the middle of my show to I tell me she was remember. having a problem. So she's not feeling good. She's taking the night off. She asked us, one of us that's on the show, which is only Charlie and me, to let you know. So there, I didn't know if Charlie let you know in the first couple of minutes. Well, she could not. just send me, a, you know, an email or something. But oh well. Uh, yeah. So it's a, it, it is what it is there. So. Yeah, the Hewlett Packard thing is a real mess. Remind me to never buy an HP product again. Well, you convinced me. HP HP makes pretty good computers. I, I'm yeah. using one right now. I'm using a it's a high end uh, a gaming computer. Mm -hmm. A friend of mine bought it for four thousand dollars. Got it delivered, and before he even got it out of the box, he lost his job and was going to pay it on payments, and then he couldn't afford it. And I ended up with it. For twelve hundred dollars, still in the box. So I set it up as mine. It's a Windows 10. It's got 64 gig of RAM. It's got you know solid state drives. It's got an i9 processor because it's a gaming computer. Mm -hmm. It's you know the fastest Intel processor. It's got its own uh, Nvidia video card, which I've never had, which has eight or twelve gig and two fans over it. Oh. I, I don't I don't play games on the computer, so it's kind of a waste. But for twelve hundred dollars, I couldn't pass up the deal. Wow, wow, yeah. wow! Yeah. I'm surprised Phil didn't run out and get one. <laughs> didn't run out and get what? One of those? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, an HP uh, gaming computer. 
Oh wow. Well. He had a that this computer would have come originally stock. It came with 32 gig and an i7 processor, and you would have got the video off the motherboard. But the, he upgraded the the RAM. He upgraded it to an i9, and he uh, and he upgraded it to have an NVIDIA video card put in there. So oh, really. But none of that really. That's means nice, Nvidia, people. because they're now the number one company in the world. Yeah, they, it, it it varies from day to day between them, Apple, and Microsoft. There's, yeah. I get business news all day long, and it says, nope, now Apple's, nope, nope, now it's back to Microsoft, now Nvidia, because uh, Nvidia, Nvidia is doing a lot of this uh, AI stuff. And that's what's making them a big profit right now. Yeah, but everybody's claiming they're doing AI. You yeah. know, Apple just yeah. said they made a deal with. Uh, are you guys yeah. doing AI, by the way, uh, Brian? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. They just sent us something about it. I don't know. They're trying to do something. But, but I mean, yeah. what, what? Why is AI I, so important? What yeah. What is the advantage of AI? Explain it to me, Charlie. Me? <laughs> I'm retired. <laughs> You're the technical guy. Go ahead. NVIDIA, though, you should see their campus. They 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 built a huge two look looks like two spaceships next to each other down here in the it's Silicon very Valley. Cool. It's very cool. Very cool. I haven't seen it in person, but I saw it online. It's very cool. I thought being built from, from day one is pretty crazy. I guess we're all trying to top what uh, Apple did down in the Cupertino, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool, too. A round office. My friend worked at that Apple. He says everything on their floor was glass. Like, all of the partitions were all glass. Mm -hmm. So you could look, like, across. Literally, you could look across down, down the one hall and just see forever. Wow. You can, they had a courtyard in the middle of this thing, a huge courtyard. Yeah. And there's glass, and you can look across the courtyard and see the people on the other side of the building. I think they also have a theater in the middle, don't they, as well? Or where's the theater? Uh, probably. Yeah, yeah probably. probably. Yeah, but, it's a, it, 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 yeah, but this is the new I have a bigger penis than you have yeah. Uh, yeah. deal. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. instead of saying, why don't we be, build a bunch of, bunch of Quonset huts, you know, <laughs> and let people work out of there. No, I always got... liked the design of a Quonset hut, so it was know, very was functional. CEO, very, I would build a, you know, a Quonset hut that seats twenty four thousand people or something. Yeah, I just never <clears throat> understood. Uh, what, you know, I mean, I think what Apple built was beautiful. Okay, there's no question about. It. Looks like a flying saucer landed. Okay, uh, it's a and, round building. Yeah, yes. Yeah, and it's a very expensive building. Yep, because all the glass money. in that building is curved. Yes. And that costs a Customers. lot of money to get curved glass. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That's why our iPhones cost $1,000. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, for what they and, do. And, and, and the people that have to have the state-of-the-art uh, studio computers. Yeah, nope. that's true, too. <laughs> but you see, if they hadn't built that big building, they could have given everybody an iPhone for free. Yeah, in, in, in the world, probably. Yeah. Yeah, so, probably. But uh, I, I, I'm curious what it cost them to build an iPhone. Uh, I think I saw it somewhere. It's somewhere in the neighborhood of over $100. Oh, it's well over $100. Yeah. They're made, they're made in China, most of them, but it's well over $100. I, I, I saw somewhere in a business news a year or two ago when they were talking about that they have it built and the parts and everything uh, is about $350 because there's engineering that goes into it too. You got to pay the engineers and all these other people. So you add all, all of the cost and it was around 350 but who knows if that was true or not. And mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Apple's not good at disclosing information. So, yeah. you know, but Charlie's going to get an, an iPhone 16 when it comes out. When it comes out, yeah. That's this year, right? Yeah. yeah. So we're getting, we need a new iPhone. and uh, All your charging cables will need to change, Charlie. Hmm. They well, do? Uh, they have different charging now? Yeah. It, it's, yeah just, it's, a, it's a USB-C, Charlie. How many of those do you have sitting around the house? You know? Not knowing him. Right here. 
Yeah, I got I got a new uh, fourteen. <clears throat> My company pays for them all the time, so that's cool. Three of us yeah, on the show have a fourteen. I, yeah. I got a. Uh, yeah, but I got mine free. Oh well, wait a minute. Oh, what, okay. What's the one? Yeah. I don't know. What's the one that I have here? I'm trying to remember. Is it like almost? If you go to settings and then go to about, it'll tell you which phone you have. Yeah, I know that. Uh, I think my sister yeah, well, I, you I couldn't oh, use my earphones when I got this because you had to get a special adapter because they, oh, yeah. they got rid of the earphone jack. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, wait a minute. Actually, I got this iPhone at uh, in Canada, so I have to go to a boot. <laughs> uh, let me see here. It's an iPhone 14. Is and the one that's out now is the 15, right? That's right. 15's yeah. out now, yeah. And so we're, we, we were going to get a new phone now, but uh, we don't really need it, so we're going to... Uh, Nobody uh, really needs a new iPhone. They last a long time, but, you yeah. know... But well, this thing, the battery's, the battery's starting to get a little weak in it, you know, yeah. and... Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. But I and I want to, so I'm probably going to get a new one. But, but I I don't really need it that much. And but really, you know, how much do you need the new iPhone? You know, I mean, they don't. How much are they improving them? I'd say if you well, hold on to your own old phone for about three years and then get a new one. You that's know, that's what I do. So. You got a point there. But I'm I, who knows? I'm I'm 74. Who knows how much longer I'll be around? I might as well get the way I look at it too for me. <laughs> Why not buy one every couple of years? You know, who knows? I'm 65. You know. Yeah. I don't know how long I'll be around. So. <laughs> Why not? Inter interesting fact: I've never paid for a phone in my life. Really? Uh, Why, now, right. Why is that? Just because all the companies you work for paid for them? Yep. Well, this company I've been with for 20 years, and they've always gave me a phone. And then when they start coming out, even the Nokia, the Nokia Press the Talk ones. Yeah. Uh, they start paying for those when I was working, so I, I was always really like production manager or something. I always needed to get, be able to get a hold of, so they always supplied me a phone. Wow, oh, that's wow. great! That's so cool. That's very cool. Well, when you work for the state, they won't do that for you. Probably yeah, not. but uh, yeah, they'll give you a pager. Yeah, well, you know, I'm, I'll tell you. I mean, you know, I, for all the people who want to complain about Apple. And make a big deal out of Apple. Um, the <laughs> fact of the matter is, Apple is a, turns out good equipment. I mean, this computer I bought, you know, this Apple Studio, is the most powerful machine I've ever owned. It's probably the most powerful uh, home computer that's available uh, in PC or in. It's very powerful. Yeah, I mean, it really I've read is. Read the specs on some of this yeah. stuff. Yeah. As opposed to the original Apple Studio, which is not as powerful as this. Right. And Phil's got that. So. Yeah. And I warned <laughs> Phil to wait, and he didn't. Yeah. And then two weeks later, they came out with the new Apple <laughs> Studio with an M2 chip in it. And the only reason I got this one now, I would have waited till the end of the year if they were going to... This says the M4, right? The new the one? M they're going directly to the M4, but that's next year. Oh. And I needed this now, you know. All right. So... Uh, but uh, the, the, and uh, the, I don't know. We they nobody has any idea of why they're not going to do it this year because they're they are going to the M4 immediately and the new iPads are M4s. You know, I got a new iPad with an M3 in it, an iPad Pro. There's no M3. They went directly from an M2 to M4. Well, maybe it's an M2 then. Yeah, it's probably an M2. Everybody. Hmm? What were everybody. You? I, I couldn't. So everybody hear. drink. He said. Everybody drink. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. It's all I would drink. <laughs> Bill's not here. What are you talking about? <laughs> so that's for me. How come your company's so cheap and didn't get you? The iPhone 15s have been out for nine months. How come they didn't get you an iPhone 15? <laughs> Do I care? I don't care. Give me a 14. I'm. You know something? I, all I'm saying is. Every time they come out with a new one, they try to tell you, well, here's what it's got that's better than the last one. And really, there hasn't been a major improvement in iPhones for about three, four iterations. Yeah, the, you know? the, the cameras are better. Well, that's, that's it, yeah. yeah but I don't take pictures very often, so how I think good, I have how, 113 how, how pictures. How much better can iPhone? the camera get? Yeah, exactly. Know. 
You know, the camera hey, right the now is something is really good. <clears throat> I've never seen the flash go off, and I take flash, I take photography outside in street lights, and the flash never goes off, and it looks like daylight. And then how can it get any better? That's Alex's point. That, Every, I understand that, man. I'm agreeing. Hey, I'm agreeing. Alan, Alan, calm down. Every year. Yeah, calm down, hey, Alan. So much. You, you talk a little bit too much today. So <laughs> you have too much coffee. Okay, so every year though they they go on that platform of advertising of these you know, like the, the, the look at this image they put on a billboard was from an iPhone you know they show how good their camera is but then every year they keep promoting oh no this camera is even better and better like you guys say how can you get much better it's already really good well I mean what I, years ago I bought Marjorie a Nikon that was the best you could get at that time it was 12 yeah. megapixels wow what a great picture. Do you know what, how many megapixels the Apple camera is? 48? Something like that, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You, you don't need much more, okay? The only reason you need more, you know why, 4K, why you need 4K? If you want to take the picture and you want to crop it, okay, mm -hmm. and have it still mm -hmm. look good. I think the 16 is 8K. Huh? The I think the 16 Pro is an 8K. 8K? So what? So what? Yeah, that's what? what I say. I'm happy with 1080p. What do I need? Yeah, yeah. 1080p is fine. Right. This show goes out in, I think, 7, 8, uh, 1080p, I believe. I'm not, I can't. I Either know. that, it goes out at 720. You know, I mean, it looks great. You know, it's fine. Uh, and I could do it in 4K every night if I wanted to, but why? So your ugly faces difference. will look less ugly? My, my, lap, <laughs> my laptop's a 1080p. The monitor I'm watching is a 4K, and I can't tell the difference. So Yeah, yeah. I think like you said, Alan, the, 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 night, the night pictures, like when it's dusk and stuff, a lot more clear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Night vision, I think, is what Apple calls it. Yeah. They, they are smart in technology. I've not, I, you know, well, the they're not, that, they're not that. Wait a minute, they're not that smart. Okay. They, in fact, they've gotten really stupid. They <laughs> were way behind on this whole AI deal. Yeah. Way behind. So they had to partner with, with Chat, uh, GDP. Chat GDP in order to get themselves up to speed. They didn't couldn't even get themselves up to speed. <laughs> you know. You know, some of the things that smartphones do use AI, and they didn't. People didn't talk about it being AI. AI's been around for years in one sure. form or another. Take, take an iMessage, for instance. iMessage, when you talk to your phone and it sends the message out, that's AI. Yes. When you ask Siri a question, that's AI. Yeah. yeah. You know? Okay. Well, you really yeah. have, you've had coffee tonight, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I'm filling it over for Tony. Tony. Yeah, filling in for Tony. Sorry, I'll, I'll I'll cut back. Let Brian talk some more about all <laughs> the free, about all the free phones he's getting. What were you saying, Jeff? I think I bought my computer. It's an Apple, and I think it must be when I moved here. So it's about six years, and it still works fine for me. My Mac Mini's a twelve. <clears throat> So I'm, pi I'm, pi I'm pissed off at my doctor again. No. Oh. A year oh, ago, a year ago, he decides that oh. he, he looked at some reaction to a, a, some tests that were done on me when I went in for that emergency room thing, and he said, "You better go get yourself tested. You have a chest X-ray, a chest CT, uh, to go look at these uh, no nodules you have and see if they've changed at all." Okay, so I go, I go schlep over to Mount Sinai and I throw myself under a laser or whatever they use. And, and it comes back and nothing has changed. I have the, the same nodules I had six years ago, eight years ago. I had, uh, it hadn't changed at all. And another nodule I did have is a nodule that they don't even pay attention to. So, okay, so I figured that's it. See, a year later, my doctor sends me a note. Go get another chest CT. Got to get it updated. What? Why? 
you know? First of all, the first one I didn't need because there was no change in something like eight years or something like that. And as far as a new nodule is concerned, it was a nodule that is a type that is not uh, considered to be, you know, doesn't become cancerous. So what do I have to go schlep over there again for? Are you sure that one that doesn't become cancerous isn't it your penis in the uh, scan? Everybody, uh, that was a joke. Yeah, mm -hmm. but everybody have a drink. Now Wait, I'm, well, just I'm, so unlike you, my penis has been known to get in the way. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff Lefty is so mad about that joke. What? Um, <laughs> he actually left before I said it. Anyway, um, so anyway, I was a little happy to see that Biden at least is uh, surging ahead in the polls. Yeah. Uh, I, I I think everybody, you know what it is? I think everybody's getting a little sick of Donald Trump. Yeah. I think there's just a little, he's, he, he, he tries to say something every day that's going to get him in the news, and I think people are just kind of tired of him. And they would rather have a boring, half-awake half guy than Donald Trump. You know, so I, I, I think by the time we come around to election time, Trump's going to have his ass taken to the cleaners, you know. So, fingers crossed. But it, it's so painful to watch Biden, though. It's so painful. Well, well but to watch they do it. things. The, the Republicans though take anything he does, and then they don't show you the whole story. Yeah. Like there was this thing where he's bunch of, with a bunch of uh, of European dignitaries in Europe, right? Mm -hmm. And they're all looking forward at something, at some stuff that's happening. And he turns his back to them and is looking in the other direction. Well, if you just look at that shot, it looks like the old man is really stupid and he doesn't know which way to look for what's happening. Mm -hmm. But they never. But other people shot from the other side, which the Republicans, by the way, never replay or showed. Yeah. And what he was doing is he was talking to some soldiers. Then it landed on the other side. Yeah. Yeah. And paratroopers or whatever they were. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean. You know, anytime he does anything that looks like he's uh, he, he's not with it, you know. I, I think it's funny last week where Trump said he's willing to do a cognitive test <laughs> between him and Biden, and he and he missed and he and he screws up on his own doctor. No, he you know he yeah. said he no he said he took a cognitive test, okay. and yeah. it was given to him by his doctor Ronnie Johnson or something, and yeah. it was Ronnie J somebody else. Jackson. Huh? Ronnie Jackson, yeah. Ronnie Jackson. Well, Ronnie Jackson was the was the, was the uh, doctor when he was in the presidency, right? Yeah. 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 And he he wasn't even there, but that Ronnie Johnson. Ronnie Johnson was the proctologist that he used. <laughs> or well, brain surgeon, same thing. Brain yeah. surgeon. Well, uh, the trouble is that uh, that uh, Donald Trump uh, uh, is you know is probably less cognitive than Biden is. I mean, if yeah. you listen to the mistakes he makes and the gaffes he makes, I mean, what's his whole? Uh, uh, he, didn't he go off on sharks recently? Yeah, what was that deal? About? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, and and it then, was something about like a battery, uh, like a Tesla battery or something. I said battery that was yeah, sinking. Well, a battery-operated boat doesn't run on gasoline; it just runs on batteries. And he was talking about how bad it was because of. If the boat sank, you would get electrocuted or something. It'd be a hundred feet shark. away. Yeah. yeah, the shark wouldn't know what to do. Yeah. yeah oh he said, would, he, "Would you get on the boat if it flipped over, or would you dive in with the shark?" You know what I'm really happy about. Look up what he it, said about it, Gettysburg. It, is that with Trump, if we get him as president, we'll have a guy who's really keyed into science. Yeah. <laughs> he just really understands what's happening with science. Look up what he said about Gettysburg a couple months ago, about a month or two ago. What did it he, was hilarious. I'm trying to remember what amazing. it was. It was funny, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, he was saying the Gettysburg. Oh, that was just. It was wonderful thing. It was a wonderful thing. It was. It was. Uh, I, I can't remember the whole thing, but he rambled on about how wonderful it was, and and how uh, I can't remember it all. So I'm not going to say what it was, but it was just obnoxious as hell. I got it. Wouldn't even make no sense at all. I got to tell you something. I was watching every now and then. I go over to Fox. Why? Because we'll I, I enjoy science fiction, mm -hmm. and I wonder what it's like to be in another world. 
okay? And if the yeah. closest thing to knowing what it's like to be in another world or in the bizarro world is going <laughs> over to Fox because the whole world is different over there. So they're having a discussion. It's on, uh, I think it was on that show, the Outnumbered with all the women, you know, on the show. Yeah. And one lucky guy. That one guy, one yeah. One lucky guy. He's and and the, the story they brought up was this story here in New York where there was this, uh, this uh, guy from Ecuador uh, who uh, was an immigrant uh, mm -hmm. who wound up raping a 13-year-old girl in the park. Okay? All right. That's the story. So now they're wailing away. You know, if it weren't for Donald uh, Biden, we wouldn't have this problem. You know, here are these immigrants coming into this country, and now they're raping our people. Well, you know something? He wouldn't have raped her in New York City if he hadn't been shoved up here by a bus from Texas. Yes. And they don't mention that part of it. You know, oh yeah, you see, that's what happens when they come across the border. You know, well, mm -hmm. how do they get to New York City? You know, long trip from the border to New York City, especially if you don't have any money. But if somebody, for instance, a governor down in Texas puts you on a bus, hey, you'll they send them, so they, they, you know, I just, it's just the world we live in is just so disgusting now, you know? Just we're to, fortunate that we're in the last part of our life, that we won't have to live with this for 50 more years. You're in the last part of your life. Listen, Marjorie said we're in the, uh, what did she say? We're in the um, uh, last chapter of our lives. And I said, Same no, thing. we've made it to the index already. <laughs> Here it is. Gettysburg, what an unbelievable battle that was, Trump said during Saturday rally. Uh, it was so much and it was so much and so interesting it was so vicious and so horrible and so beautiful in so many different ways it <laughs> represented such a big portion of the success of this country mm -hmm. Gettysburg wow I go to Gettysburg Pennsylvania and look and watch and the statement of Robert E. Lee who's no longer in favor did you ever notice it he's no longer in favor never fight uphill me boys never fight uphill they were fighting uphill he said wow that was a big mistake he lost a great general. Never fight uphill, me boys. But it was too late, Trump added. What the fuck did that wait, mean? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Me boys is an, me boys. Is an Irish state. has nothing to do with y'all. And, and Robert E. Lee was an Irish. Exactly. He, he probably thought that it happened during his presidency. He kept saying me boys, and I'm going... And when I saw him do that, I was just going, what the hell? This dude fell off a truck while it was moving. Yeah. Yeah. I think he ate too many paint chips as a kid. Well, yeah. uh, uh, well, probably lead paint chips if it was from his father's right. apartments. That's you right. Know. Yeah. And they really sunk in, man. It was, it was funny as hell to watch it. I'm going, how can they say that Biden is unhinged when, when he yeah. says shit like that? Well, listen, yeah. Biden. Biden isn't a hundred percent there, but you know he gets the job done. That, He's that, got a brain. You know, there's everything to believe. People have been interviewing Trump lately. You know, he gives out interviews to anybody who will throw a compliment his way, and uh, they all come back with the same thing: that this guy has no concept of what's going on, no concept of how the country is run or how to solve any of the problems that exist here. Biden knows how to get the job done. He knows what the job is. And he may be a little out of it these days, but he's not so out of it that he doesn't get the job done. Look, the economy's better than it's been for a long time. Uh, but, you know. The man has compassion. The man yeah. has compassion. Absolutely. You know, mm -hmm. uh, he's, he's, he's honest where his family is concerned. Look, he's not going to give Hunter Biden a, uh, you know, uh, no, you, how come you haven't heard a damn thing about that either? The guy got convicted. Yeah. He's going to jail for whatever he's going to do. Yeah. Uh, and, and you don't hear anybody, I don't hear anybody saying. I, I, think, I think in July is is the uh, part of the trial where they sentence him. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's fine, but, right. you know, and you don't hear anything about, about it. That. Right, don't hear anything. They may wind up just giving him, you know, 
house arrest probation. or whatever probation or whatever. Yeah, because yeah. that, that's not a big deal, that no. whole thing. And it's the same thing that's going to happen to him, too. And, and you know what? I mean, as I said, I would, I would argue if I were his lawyers and they didn't use this argument. Mm-hmm. Well, it's funny. The, uh, Hunter, Hunter Biden has caused a <laughs> uproar among the Second Amendment people who mm-hmm. all believe that you shouldn't have to sign those, yep. uh, what do you call it, those uh, the uh, forms. The forms. And the problem is with those forms is that they are, uh, I think, in a certain level, illegal because they're asking you to incriminate yourself. In yeah. other words, I have yeah. to say I'm not doing drugs in order to get a gun, but if I want to, don't, but if I say I am using drugs, I don't get the gun, and they'll arrest me for doing drugs. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're asking to self incriminate yourself in order to get what a lot of these people believe is your constitutional right. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Hunter Biden is kind of a hero with them now. You know? um, I would, maybe he'll start something and get rid of uh, the National Rifle Association. No, no. <laughs> Oh, they man. they seem to survive everything. They're like a roach, you know. Well, they just Texas, don't die. They, what? They moved to Texas when they couldn't handle New York anymore. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Mm-hmm. So anyway, we have uh, we have Brian here, and uh, uh, it was nice for Adrian to make a uh, an appearance on the show today. <clears throat> yeah, she has a. Uh... So tomorrow I have to take her to Hammer Theater downtown San Jose yeah. and do the rehearsal. So she has 10 songs uh, for the recital for Saturday. So they actually do a dress rehearsal and then they do like all the lights. They do the lightings. <laughs> so mm-hmm. each each they have a schedule. So each, each group will get up there and start doing their dancing because of what they're wearing and the lighting. They, they adjust all that stuff for the show. It's called and a technical Saturday, rehearsal. Oh, sorry. Technical, re- technical rehearsal. Yes. No, no. It's called a technical rehearsal because all the technical aspects of the show are dealt with there, like the lighting and so on, and the audio. Yeah. yeah. So they, uh, she has that tomorrow, and then then uh, Saturday is the rehearsal. So she, yeah, she has like it's crazy ten songs. So yeah, so it'll be fun. Yeah, you're proud of her, aren't you? Oh, of course. <laughs> Just a little yeah. bit. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. Does she have an iPhone 14? Well, you know, I was, ta- I was talking about you to Marjorie, My- to Marjorie uh-huh. tonight. Uh-huh. And what we were talking about was is that you being a father late in, later in life is probably the best time to be a father. You know? It is. You, for me, I can vouch for that. You, yeah, can, for- you, can, you can vouch for that too, right, Kevin? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Had him My- younger and I had him older. Yeah. Yeah, my 30s, I was going to Vegas all the time and 40s I was still going out I couldn't and have- do that <laughs> I was having kids earlier too well yeah. I mean it's like uh, uh, like David Letterman didn't have his kid until he was in his 50s yeah. uh, and he be- looked like he became a pretty good father I mean as good a father as you can be until those kids say dad leave me off a block from school <laughs> <laughs> they still do that Huh? Yep. No, I'm they saying they do still do that. No, but I'm saying that, that that will happen. I mean, now she's happy to have him drive her right up to the school front door, right? Yes. One day she's going to say, "Leave me off a block away, Mom. Let me walk the last block to school." <clears throat> you know, and that will break your heart. <laughs> you know? It's okay. I embarrass her enough now. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> How do You're you just prepping yourself that way. How, how do you embarrass her? How do you embarrass her? Like you know, she's all strung herself when she gets out of the car into the dance studio, and right when she gets in front of my car, I honk the horn. You know those yeah. type of things. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Adrian. <laughs> Bye, baby. Have fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but um, she's in what grade? Even more fun when they have dances, and you get to take them there, and then you tell them, "I'm the chaperone tonight." Oh, my mom was, I love doing that. Hey, my, my mom was a chaperone, and my friends got mad at me because my mom kept busting them trying to leave the dance before they were supposed to. Oh man! Oh wow! Wow! Yeah, I love doing that. Me and my buddy Troy, when he was alive, we did that all the time to him, to his kid. 
Uh-huh. Tell it, no, you're not gonna be shepherd. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> boy, oh boy, yeah. Uh, it was tons of fun. Yeah. Oh, today, by the way, was the uh, the uh, <laughs> the uh, uh, summer solstice, was it? Yep. At uh, oh, here in New York at four fifty, it was the earliest that has ever been in two three two hundred and thirty two years or something like that. Oh damn it! I knew something went wrong. <laughs> had a yeah. Shitty day today. And today was the longest day of the year. Yep. Really? Yeah. Low sunlight, yeah. Great. No wonder. And I've... yesterday was the uh, the longest Juneteenth of the year. So, <laughs> um, you know something? Probably why I spilled red paint in my freaking driveway. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Not happy. Why? <laughs> because I spilled red paint in my freaking driveway. Did you really? Yeah. So now you have a red driveway? Why don't you just paint it all red then? <laughs> no. No. So you got to leave it with this big blotch? There's a big blotch there. I got most of it up, and now i got to take a pressure washer okay. to As I remember tomorrow. in the, uh, in the uh, marina where I used to live, some of the homes along the marina actually had driveways that were painted red. Mm. Or oh, orange. It's probably a Chinese thing. China, know. right? Yeah. Could be a Chinese thing too. Right. No. That's what I always figured. Feng it Shui thing. <laughs> Feng Shui. Okay. Anyway, I bought a new microphone today. You're not listening to it. It comes tomorrow. But I decided to to buy a microphone worthy of my voice. Okay. Nice. Really? You, well, you. I think your voice sounds fine right now. I've yeah, never. Really? I, I've never Perfect. cared about how my voice. Really, what mic I'm using or anything like that. It's never been a consideration of mine. I just go, I got a good enough voice. I can talk it into a tin can and I will sound okay. But I finally decided in my old age, it would be nice to just get something that, you know, has a good bottom on it and so on and so forth. So we'll, we'll you know, see what it's like when I get it. Hmm. I also got a new light for here to try. It's just an eighty-nine dollar light that's about this big, okay, and it just sits right here on the uh, uh, right in front of me. And it supposedly does a really nice job of lighting your whole face, so I may be able to do away with these. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Kevin, Kevin has some extra red paint. He can come over and paint your mic for you. <laughs> Actually, the one I'm getting has a it's black. And it has a red, uh, what do you call it, uh, poof screen on the front of it. Big red foamy thing. So it's nice. Or it, it has one that's black, too. I can make the whole thing black. I could have gotten it in white, but I didn't know why I wanted to get it in white. Because I'm not one of these people who does a podcast that lets everybody see my microphone. You know, so. So it was my big thing today yes uh, yes Jeff so are you thinking about getting some kind of a aesthetic uh, surgery to make you look better <laughs> plastic surgery you mean I don't look great now well you know we can always look better right? <laughs> <laughs> well a couple of extra yeah. muscles on uh, and now now who's had the coffee and <laughs> jokes <laughs> Not me. Well, I was a little younger. I might, you know, I, 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 I thought about having my bags done under my eyes, but he hey. wants, he wants six thousand bucks for that. God, and I'm not, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not that vain. Okay. It's only money you can't. I think take I could do money. that for you. Huh? I think I could do that for you if you want. You could do it for me. <laughs> Why not? He has a home. Try it on it. Hey, the guy, the guy built pacemakers. He can do my eyes. You know. Yeah. That's right. You could try your new uh, Heath kit uh, laser on it. <laughs> Take away the material. Yeah. I get a, I get an animal, like a dog, and maybe to to try it out first. Yeah, I get a I get a get tested a, on animals, huh? Yeah. Yeah. But otherwise, you know, it, it's uh, uh, I can't. I'm trying to think if there was any other major news. We've been sitting around all day waiting to see what the Supreme Court's going to do with this uh, Trump thing, which tomorrow's their last day, I think. That I think they can, so. So, 
So they got to do it tomorrow if they're going to do it at all. Um, any speculation on how it's going to turn out? You did hear about no the idea. oh, you, you did hear about the judge in the uh, documents case. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. No, you didn't hear. They fire her. No. Uh, uh, two federal judges have come forward and said she should resign from that case. Uh -huh. That mm -hmm. to begin with, one of them said she should resign because her uh, area where she is a judge does not really have the bandwidth to be able to handle all those documents. And then another federal judge just said, you just shouldn't do it because you're not any good. You know, you don't <laughs> have the experience. And so two judges so far, and I think there were a couple of others have come along and said, you should step down from this case. And she goes, no, nah, mm -mm, not gonna. Why? Isn't there somebody above her that can remove her? No. Oh, no. Strange world. No. Yeah, really. What do you mean? Ah. What do you mean? Do you, you take him he out? appoints her in 2020, and then he gets her as his judge. Yeah. Up in his there case. isn't a judge in the world who you can say to them the following statement: "Let me talk to your boss." <laughs> nope. Doesn't no. happen. Doesn't happen. You know, the only boss that any any uh, 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 judge has are appeals courts and appellate courts. Well, in California, we vote for superior county judges, so. Yeah, but how often? Yeah, I don't know. See, well, once you vote. shows up on the ballot, that's when I know. Once mm -hmm. you vote them into office, they stay yeah. there forever. Maybe. Federal, yeah. Federal judges. I don't know. Are, well, federal right. judges are appointed, a president appoints some of them, doesn't he? Yeah. Appoints all federal judges. Yeah. Appoints all federal judges? Wow. And there, Trump, that's Trump a lifetime really went nuts with that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. They can die or they can quit. Yeah, they could resign. Well, I, just, I just love the, the, just the attitude of judges like the Supreme Court judges. You know, like, we don't have to answer to anybody. What? Oh, well, there maybe you don't two. technically have to answer to anybody, but you should. Uh, what, what were you going to say, There could Kevin? be two appointments in the next term, right? Uh, yes. Well, I understand. I think there can be two appointments in the next term. That's what we really got to worry about. Two appointments? Why? That's the reason we want Biden in there instead of Trump. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Even things out a little bit anyway. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens, you know. Um, uh, it, it, too bad the president can't fire them. He gets to appoint them. Can't he fire them? Nope. Right. Yeah. Actually, Congress can impeach them if they do something bad. Yes, but they, <laughs> that take that's going to take a lot of doing. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, hey, listen, the theme is playing, and I got to get off of here because Amy has to. Oh. Oh me. no! Uh, no yeah. show tonight. I'm no being nice. Tonight. Well, there's no show tonight with Amy, folks. Even though she's listed on the uh, on demand already. She's not <laughs> feeling good. And I'm not going to remove her until tomorrow. Okay. Anyway, hey, very nice of you to be here, uh, um, um, uh, Charlie. Always a pleasure having you here. Uh, how's the weather down? How hot is it down there? Actually, it's been cool because it's been raining all week. Wow. Oh, ah, yeah. Oh, so yeah. it was only got to like yeah, eight. We were we were ninety two degrees here today. Yeah, no yeah. hotter up there. How about mm -hmm. you, uh, Jeff? How how hot was it up there? It's been to ninety. Yeah, Marjorie, Six, something like that. It was brutal. Marjorie and I went out and took a walk up to the restaurant to get food, right? <sighs> By the time I got up there, I felt like I was, I, I'd suffered, you know, yeah. a lot. Anyway, thank you, Jeff, for being here. Appreciate it. Uh, of course, Brian, always a pleasure having you here, and especially Adrian as well. Thank her. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you to Alan, and thank you very much, Kevin, once again for joining us this evening. Hope we'll all see you all tomorrow night uh, right here. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Okay. And that's our citizen panel for tonight, folks. Uh, really enjoy having them here. Uh, and uh, they'll be back again tomorrow night, a lot of them. So that's good. Anyway, there's no Amy tonight, huh? Okay, well, then uh, there's no nobody for me to plug after me. I'll see you tomorrow night. 
Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye.